Okay. The other thing that they determined was, so we went back, we continued the study, uh, looking at the air, looking at all the other factors that I've talked about, established the zones, and then we started looking at uh, what other mitigating factors do we need to take uh, to ensure the safety of our people. Another, another one that everybody should be very familiar with, if you rent a house out in town, there were a couple of requirements that were put into your lease. Everybody who lives out in town, the landlord has to provide bottled water for your consumption, your cooking, your drinking, your you know, giving to your pets, brushing your teeth, whatever. Uh, it's provided to you by your, your landlord. The other thing is, in many areas throughout this area, there are holding tanks. There are water holding tanks, right? And those water holding tanks are there when the water pressure drops so that if in the summertime, like in the area of Nikola and over there where the, what's the name of the water park? Wally World. Um, over there, the water pressure regularly drops. So if you don't have a, um, a water holding tank, you won't have any water pressure at that time. So the other lease provision is, if you have a water holding tank, your landlord is supposed to clean that water holding tank for you twice a year. So again, protections were put in place. We test the water. Um, we test the heck out of the water here. Uh, NSA Naples operates three water treatment facilities. One at Capitol Kino, one at uh, Carney Park, and one at Lago Paz. Uh, last, in the month of October, I counted them before I came here, I think we did 35 to 40 test of the water here on the support site at various locations. We test up in Guyana, we test everywhere. Uh, we have a hazmat control program that recycles two thirds of our, of our hazmat on the base. So we have a very, very active program. Uh, and we try to be very proactive when it comes to the safety and security of our families, of my families. Um, 